Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Little Einsteins. This is definitely not made for me. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Actually, it's a lot of uh, good educational stuff. It's taken... It's actually kind of creative, kind of kind of fun, but it's... It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely not something that anybody my age would be watching. It's definitely made for preschoolers because, uh, it's, a uh, it's a series that you've probably seen if you're a parent. Uh, it's, there's a good chance you've had your kids watch this, um, or, uh, tried and get them to not watch it after a little while. I only watched, uh, the first two episode of each of the two seasons, and their seasons are like... One's like 29 episodes, the other one's like 30-something. It's there. There's a lot of episodes to this. Uh, but what the basic premise of this is uh, it introduces kids to problem-solving, to classical music, uh, art, and uh, just well, a sense of adventure kind of thing. Uh, they... <laughs> God, my, my, my brain's uh, already trying to block some of this out uh, because I've learned too much. Uh, or I hopefully I don't think I'm above such things. I, I, the idea is that, yeah, uh, the very beginning of the show, they're like, we're going to show you, here's a piece of art from Klimt. And uh, here's Dvorak is doing the music. And uh, we're going to travel to Saturn and learn about the rings. And then... The ring will be sentient, and then it'll come down and then change shape and change size. It's, and it's interactive, too. They're like, you know, it's one of those kind of things. It's kind of like Dora the Explorer. I, I, I've never watched Dora the Explorer, but I, I, I've seen enough parodies of it where it's like, can you see the ring? Where's the ring? And then they pause, and then they, you know, that long pause, and it's like, oh, there's the ring. Oh, thanks. Thanks for helping. And there's other things where it's like, oh, no, the spaceship, named Rocket, appropriately, um, that they get into to help the ring get back to Saturn. Um, they even use warp technology, which is kind of weird, but um, still theoretical. But uh, it's, it's, they, uh, they also... Um, power the ship through lap pats, through patting your lap, which is also theoretical. It's not really a, a thing that people, astronauts do, but apparently Rocket does. So in order to break gravity's pull on the ship, um, you're asked to pat your lap faster and faster. Um, and uh, he breaks breaks the uh, the pull uh, the the planet's gravitational pull. So hey, you helped. Uh, in the the other episode I watched, the, he has the, one of the guys has magical instruments, and they turn into other things like the trumpet. Uh, this is when they were playing Tchaikovsky. Uh, I can't remember which one it was, uh, but it was they're playing Tchaikovsky, and <laughs> you it, 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 he's going around. His friends are are like on a. The, on the rocket, but the rocket's in fell in the ocean, and he's kind of trapped there. It was a little, a little tense, probably for four year olds. I I don't know, I don't know, but uh, he he has a uh, the the trumpet turns into an elephant, and then you have to help him. Then you have to pretend you're an elephant by swinging your arm back and forth to clear away the brush in the jungle to get to the other side of the island, where your friends are in the water. Uh, also, you're in a hot air balloon, like the one of the things, the, the harp sort of turns into a hot air balloon, and you're supposed to stroke the, the you know, the strings higher towards yourself. You know, it's all imagination, obviously, you don't, you're not required to have a trumpet or a harp or a triangle or whatever. You're, you're all pretending, you're three, you're four, whatever, and you're playing along and, uh, you help the kids on the screen because they're talking to you, you, just you. Uh, so yeah, they, you do this and the balloon goes higher and then you t trickle it down, make it, the, the strings go down and makes the balloon go down so you can rescue, you know, your friends. It's all about imagination. It's all about, uh, just having a fun thing. There's, they're very encouraging. Uh, everybody gets a round of applause. Let's clap for, 
for the harp. Let's clap for the, for what's his name for doing that thing. Let's clap for Saturn and, and then clap for you. And then, you know, the kids are cute. They're, they're sweet, but yeah, it's, it's something that if you want your kids to learn who Dvorak and, and, uh, and Tchaikovsky are and recognize like there are some of the more iconic compositions and it's really honestly it's just a a few notes here and there but it's the it's it's peppered throughout uh they kids even make up songs like that they sing along to these notes so it's kind of thing where later in life that they hear that music at their very impressionable age that they are right now and they're watching this like two three four they're little they're mental vacuums i mean not vacuums well yeah they're vacuums they suck it all up they're not empty like a vacuum. They suck it all in, everything they hear and see. And when they're older, you're going to find them singing weird lyrics to Tchaikovsky when they're like 15, randomly. So I think it's the kind of thing where, you, yeah, if you want to have your kids get a head start on figuring this stuff out, like having a connection with art and, uh, and music, classical music and things like that, I imagine this could push them in that direction to knowing what that stuff is. It's it's kind of neat. I, I Again, I'm never going to watch more than the two episodes I just watched now. It's not for me, unless I have kids, and then I'll maybe I'll have to watch it with them. I have no idea. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, Little Einsteins. It's from the Baby Einsteins people. So, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, you, you if you watched it with me... Uh, picked a few episodes. I'm sure some of you, if you're older, didn't last more than half an episode. But, uh, eh, you know, I did too. So if you did more, tell me. Tell me what you thought. Uh, but now it's time for us to pick something new that's not Little Einstein's on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Here we go. 63. Wait. Then we just have, we just had, uh, we just had 63. That was, no, 63 was Bizarre Dinosaurs a long time ago. That was day seven. I didn't, I knew that day, that number felt familiar. All right, well, let's pick something else. 669. 669. We're going up and down this number, uh, 669. Whew. We did 667 not too long ago. What could it be? Ha! Huh. I haven't seen this movie since I was a kid. So yeah, this is something I have seen, but like a billion years ago, because I'm old. So here we are. 669 is the Shaggy D.A., Yes, the Shaggy District Attorney. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to visit the Shaggy DA. I knew I was going to get to the Shaggy Dog movies at some point. So, all right. We're watching the Shaggy DA. Uh, <laughs> the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.